And the Young Hacker News, mm. submitted by Hacked by Peter. Oh, oh. Peter, Peter. A 16-year-old pled guilty to hacking Apple's mainframe. Oh, shit. 16? That's baller. That's really cool. What These guys are geniuses it. now. I would have hired him. Yeah, you should. Yeah, That's the probably. reason why he was hacking, because he, he hopes job. to work for Apple. But then he got in huge trouble. He's a fan of the company. Um, Damn, this kid knows what he wants. What a badass. Did he get hired? Not go that to jail. I know. You better, unless Bill Gates hires his ass. Like, come work at yeah, Microsoft. Microsoft should start. Ah. Yeah, so this dude, he he hacked into Apple's mainframe. He downloaded internal files and he accessed customer accounts. Wow. But Apple swears that it didn't, didn't affect happen. anything. Oh. Like, like everyone's information was safe, but they're reporting. He's a white hat hacker. What is that? He's just the one that goes in and says, hey, your system's vulnerable, but I ain't doing nothing malicious. Yeah. Yeah, so then uh, this dude, this kid, by the way, he's from Melbourne, Australia. He studies in a private school, and he they're also reporting that he stored the saved information to a folder called Hacky Hack Hack. <laughs> <laughs> Hacky Hacky be a kid. Yeah. Yep. Let's do his porn folder. Hacky that says Hack Jackie Jack Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Jackie Jack Jack. <laughs> Yeah. You guys said it at the same time. <laughs> Jackie, Jack, Jack. It's the most juvenile thing to synchronize to. <laughs> Jackie, Jack, Jack, Jack. They're so happy. Look how happy they're yeah. I didn't have the private education. If they either. weren't of the same <laughs> sex, I think they'd be with each other. Yeah, I can see that. If we were two girls, lesbian time. <laughs> lesbian time. <laughs> but I don't want to touch him because he's a guy. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you could still be a soulmate without like a sexual. Yeah. That the, I call them soulmates. Yeah, soulmates. I see that. I can see that. Soulmates, yeah. bromates. No, they're soulmates. Soul bros, bros. We're soul yin bro. and yang. No, you guys are the same. You're yin and yeah. yin, dude. What <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's like, I don't know how that worked, but I guess that makes sense. But yeah, so this kid, he downloaded 90 gigabytes of files. Damn, that's Damn, a lot. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. that, I mean, like. Is uh, well, there's not a picture because he's that's a kid. Right? Just like one person's iPhone. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Like 90 gigs is not that much. It's not really not yeah. that much. It's like somebody's one now. phone. Yeah. <laughs> no, well they did. They are saying that he hacked it like four times or something. But that's all he downloaded. That's 90 gigs. Of of secret files. Damn. Dude. Customer files. Customer files. All of their emails. All of that shit. Well, no. So the company is saying that. No one's like, like personal data was not compromised, so I don't know exactly what well, the kid did. He hack it from the school's computer. I don't know where he hacked it, from. but he just saved it at the school's. The naked How did he get discovered? Wait, who said school? No, he, he, he goes to a private school. Oh, okay, so for some reason I mixed the two no, up. I it's thought it's just he... like some random, like, bit of information for you to know, like, what kind of oh, uh, yeah, like he had a really good education, yeah, probably. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. You know, um, sometimes I like to hear the stories of hackers that basically come from like nothing. Like there's this one notorious one that I think he went uh, and broke through the Pentagon or some insane shit. And he's like some dude that lives in like a, with his mom still in like, in like the hood, like in the projects and shit. Yeah. Are you thinking about a movie? I feel like I saw that in a movie. No, it's, it's an actual oh. guy, yeah. But it's it in, and, in, and in, yeah, I mean, it's like he was he was broke all his life, like poor kid, and it's like he just learned all that shit on his own. Crazy, oh, yeah. kind of like you, because you were you had your nothing like me. No, but like That's a, a little genius bit girl. You you taught yourself too, right? Thank you for giving me a little bit of credit. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, with the internet, I guess everybody could learn. Yeah. yeah, I learned how to fry an egg by myself. Genius. Damn. Dude. On YouTube? No. Or just trying it at home? I just try it at home. <laughs> See what happened. You know what though? Like there is no excuse nowadays. With yeah. with Google and everything, there's just no excuse not Dude. like if you want to learn some shit, you could type it in right now and do yeah. it and do it well too. Oh, uh, they teach you that on Sesame Street. So Taika watches Sesame Street now. Oh, Whoa, um, really? Yeah, and it's this little phone, and then it's like when you want to know, like it's a song, obviously, but basically says, uh, they, like they're they're grooming the kids, and it's like, hey, when you want to know something, what do we do? And it goes, we look it up. That's dope. You you watch it. I know, but I think that's just dope. Oh, okay. You you know, I know we're old farts is because like 
When I see like kids talking about some shit, they'll immediately go into their phones and find out facts, right? But old farts will sit there and debate about something when they can look up what the word Us, is or all whatever. the time. Yeah. JK News. And I'm like, holy <laughs> crap, like, why do I do this? Why? Do, because even older farts do I that for like, like one hour. Hmm? I feel like I look so much. I think we like hearing each other just try to figure it out. Yeah. And then once we've all realized we don't know it, then the moment's passed. Yeah. Like, yeah, we don't give a shit that much. I, I do look, I look <laughs> stuff up all the time. But you know what it is too though? It's like, I don't look up certain things because who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? There's a lot of stuff that who gives a fuck if you know that info. I need to pretty know. Pretty American? Is yeah. that pretty American? Who gives a fuck? It's not because there was like, if it's not conducive to the conversation or the yeah, mood that's going on, who gives a fuck? Because sometimes a lot of people say stuff that's not true, but they believe it. You know, but it doesn't hurt you or me in that in that whatever misinformation that you have. So you just let that person talk and the conversation goes on. You don't have to stop somebody and be like, hey, by the way, you're wrong. Yeah. Number one, it embarrasses a person. And yeah. number two, it doesn't matter if they know or not. Yeah. And so people don't have that fucking social construct. I see that all the time now where they literally stop a conversation to correct somebody on some information that nobody gives a fuck about. <laughs> that, yeah, exactly. It's like, that's a great point. Yeah. I hate you still, but that's a great point. That's exactly what it should be. But that's like getting an ego fix out of something that you don't, that's like it's like such an insecure, yeah. Yeah, like somebody uses a typo of there and there, and they go, by the way, yeah, we know that it's a typo, you dumb fuck, move on. You fucking loser. <laughs> so you've been corrected a lot for this. Yes, multiple Obviously. times. And this is just you lashing, and just, yes. just, just expressing. No, I just troll them back, and when they like, write the correct there, then you write the wrong one with the fucking asterisk on purpose. Cause, cause here's the thing though, like, cause I'm, I'm naturally in-, in You're just dweet, like just, just losers that do that. Actually, it's like, not even point dexters, it's like, it's dweebs. You might not even be smart and you still do that. And you're just yeah. like, I don't care, shut up. <laughs> cause like, I'm The a, correct term is- I like people who are just like somewhat socially aware. You know what I mean? Like, just know the mood, know what's going on. You know what I mean? So if you're not doing that, just go into a fucking corner and be by yourself. <laughs> you know, like that's that's the thing I just hate. Ugh. Yeah, that's true. But sometimes I just have a thought, and I know that it means fucking nothing. But I am obsessive about where barley came from. <laughs> that's different. You're talking. First of all, <laughs> these are two separate conversations. Yeah. <laughs> so. That was so genuine. Like he really wants to know. Did you figure it out? I forgot. That's why it's pointless. <laughs> isn't it like an oat? I, isn't it an oat? Or I something? need to fucking know. Did it come from fucking like oh. some grain? Isn't it? Was it part of Mesopotamia or Sumeria? Or I think so. Like I mean, that's one of the first places that you know had farming and yeah. shit. You know, so it, it might be. You know, the and there's thing. there's ancient grains and shit like that. I was like, damn, man, I didn't know that. We crossbred so many fucking grains that this is rice, or this is what it is today. You know, you go through that rabbit hole of fucking Wikipedia where you- Oh, where you see like, eight, oh, like yeah. fruits, like, oh, this is what a banana look like? You're yeah. like, what the oh, shit? Yeah, I like oh, that. dude, I love watching, like, looking up, like, what fruits were before the genetic- Or thing. lemons and limes, like, what they were before. Oh, dude, yeah. Dude, fucking old watermelon, dude. Fuck that disgusting oh, yeah. looking thing. It was like- 12% fruit. fruit and the rest is just <laughs> It looks like all rind and then a little bit of pink yeah. with yeah. fucking tons of seeds. Like that looks how like figure out like that's something you eat and then how did they genetically like figure out to genetically Trial modify it to like make it Learning. more Yeah, they do. They see fruits, they smell it, it smells yeah. nice, they crack it open, see what's up, they eat the best years parts. And years and years of just like Farming. people dying be like okay, not <laughs> that. that was yes, it's literally it's just trial and error. A lot of people dying. Watching animals eat something and then just copying them. That's that's when the, they die, though. But those that yeah, believe in evolution, we've learned these things from like when we were like apes. Mm -hmm. We learned certain things, and then that was just ingrained, and we learned more and more. Mm -hmm. I mean, and now we got Wikipedia. Fuck that. Now I could go into the forest, and I could just be like, "Is this mushroom cool?" Yeah. Take a picture. They're like, "Don't eat it, dude." Okay, cool. <laughs> Don't eat it. You know, like, <laughs> who's <laughs> saying that on the other? <laughs> I know. <laughs> some random dude on Reddit. Yeah. Don't eat it. Like yeah. fucking nature expert fifty five or some shit like I that. Felt you know. So, so bad for that dude in uh, into the wild at the end of the film. Nah, still, it'd still be jizz forever. <laughs> jizz, jizz forever. Jizz forever. <laughs> jizz forever. Jack, 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 Jack. Is that the one with the, the little kid and the guy? It's the yeah. guy who was. was Taiko yeah. Waititi's yeah. film? No. no. I'll eat the, I'll, this is the one that you said you haven't seen. Oh, oh, Into the Wild, he lives on a bus or something? Yeah. yeah. That movie's oh, yeah, so great, that kid seen. is such a good actor. Yeah. Into the Wild, I just saw it like a couple months ago. Probably one of the better films I've ever seen yeah. in my life. 
made me so sad when he was dying in that bus and he found out the meaning of life is. Are you for sure? Dead. Like you're it's really not. ruining the movie like right now? Like it's it's a it's book really old, and it's a it's movie. Book, it's it's really, still watch it. Yeah. Really yeah, I watched it like in early college or something. It's, oh, surprised. it's that old? It came out a long you didn't time. Ago. Read it in school. I think everyone read it at school. You should watch it. It's on Netflix. It's actually a really good film. It made me tear up. So what's the meaning of life? Make me tear up. It doesn't make you tear up because you're sad. It makes you tear up because you more beautiful than can connect to it very well. Yeah. So what's the meaning of life? It's uh, it's not about experiencing all these things by yourself. It's about experiencing things and sharing it with people. That fool needed to die to fucking know that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Could have told you that fucking earlier, dumbass. <laughs> Oh, What's the point of living if you don't have people that you don't love? It's like all these people that are like, oh, I don't know why they always go to India and shit, but like everyone's like, I'm going to India to find myself and ride a fucking motorcycle or scooter and shit or like whatever, bike around India. It's like Italy. every time I'm going to go to India to find myself by myself. And then they come back and they're like, oh, you know what? I don't know. And then they're like, I miss my friends. I just like, duh, motherfucker. I just picture this fucking like hipster white dude with dreadlocks. He went to India for 10 years to find himself. He comes and meets you and he goes, I found the meaning to life. And you go, that's it, dumbass. <laughs> the guy just world shatters. <laughs> he starts cutting his dress as he's crying. 10 years of this thing. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, duh. How come you just didn't ask somebody that? <laughs> duh. I guess, what's the just looked it up. It's online. Yeah. It's online. <laughs> Watch that Sesame Street episode. Yeah. Look it up. Yeah. That's one of the biggest things that people say, like toward the end of life, is like my my regret is I work too much. I didn't spend enough time exactly. with loved ones. Exactly. It's yep. all about balance, man. It's, it's all like about people, man. Work is then just balance everything out. Like yep. people, even people that are like super aggressive, like every day you gotta blah blah blah. And I'm like, fuck that, dude. Twenty years from now, you're gonna hate your life, yep. like. Oh, like Elon Musk, Burnout. he says that he works, I forgot the number, but like a crazy amount of But I still hours. think that's about passion. I think people that work just to get success. Like, and money, like, and yeah, status. Like, well, you know. Every other area of your life is lacking. And I, you know those types of people, you see those types of people. It's like, later on, you're just gonna be miserable. Or you're probably miserable now, and mm -hmm. you just are masking it with more success and more, mm -hmm. let me get this so I can validate myself. But it's like, you're not really, truly yeah. happy. It's like, I there should be a hope. balance. It's all about balance. Like. This should be just as important as this, as important as this. Like yeah. every element should be equal in parts, I think.